we've decided to quantify individual differences in cognitive ability in the Australian magpies. We found that individuals living in larger groups were or perform better than individuals living in smaller groups. So this suggests that sociality has some kind of causal effect on cognitive de development. Furthermore, we also found that smarter females um, had greater reproductive success, which suggests that natural selection may be able to act on cognitive ability. So this is one of the tasks we use, which um, quantifies associative learning. And in order to do this, we um, randomly choose one of the colours to be rewarded for, throughout the duration of the experiment. And we um, put some cheese underneath the colour that's chosen and then place it in front of the magpies and um, we measure how long it takes them to learn to associate the colour with the food reward. So they can access the food reward by pecking the lid and gaining access to the cheese that way. So we have 12 habituated groups in the um, Guildford and Matilda Bay area of Perth and the majority of individuals in our study population are ringed which means they have coloured rings on their legs so we can individually identify them and they all live in territorial groups so we can go to the same place every day, find the same birds and do repeated cognitive testing on them. We do need to do further work to determine what aspects of group living determines this causal effect on cognitive development. We also need to try and work out why um, females that have greater cognitive ability do have greater reproductive success and that's the research that we plan to be doing in the future.